Hi there, Moisey's here. Got a bit of a surprise. Some little armory gear. An AS eval. There is also a Vant shield, but that will be in a later video. A bit of an experimental video, but something I've been wanting to do. Now, these boxes, as shows, are 112th scale models. Here's a Glock from the same line to show as a reference. Now as most model kit boxes, all the pieces will come in separate bags, usually sorted by what they will build or sometimes just by their letter codes. As these get more complex, I would highly suggest to RTFM, that's a read the FN manual, so you can figure out just how many times you may need to cross these pieces and little sheets together. Just skimming over the guide to see where I want to start the assembly process. I typically try to start with the receiver part of the gun, and fortunately most little armory guns don't require the lower and upper receiver to be put together as it's essentially the base of the weapon. Take the STAR-15 I'm messing with as a quick example. The silver section of the rifle is just two pieces and a dust cover which isn't shown. All one piece essentially. Everything I'm using are all part of a model kit starter box. You can find these on Amazon. A lot of them are usually about $15 to $20. Moving on, just gonna slice open the packs and start finding and snipping off the receiver part. There is a side rail for the scope for the AS valve, but I won't be putting that on today. For now, I'll just move on to the receiver, file it down a bit to remove any of those plastic burrs that come from the snipping process. The receiver for the AS valve is pretty simple. It's honestly just the entire receiver and then the dust cover. You'll see me sand down the receiver, and that's just that way I can get the dust cover to sit as flush as possible. Here I'm just cutting off the dust cover. Once that's off of the mold sheet, you just simply place it right on top of the receiver and that is the dust cover assembly. Now that I have the receiver put together, comes the hardest part of this build, the lever selector or lever safety, depending on how you want to view it. The little piece will cause me a lot of grief as you'll see me fumble about 10 times here.
Shout out to these little containers for catching this piece. As you can imagine, losing a one millimeter piece on a dark surface is not a fun time. There's not that much room for it to catch into, but once that lever's in, it's not gonna come out so easily, unlike the dust cover. Next up is the barrel guard, and these will be a bit clearer on how these can be applied as one hole is typically bigger, lining up with the barrel and any guide rods that may be uh, protruding alongside it. Next I'm going to get the barrel, which is also an integral suppressor. Now I'll show an important bit later, but always double check the images your manual shows as you don't want to snip off ends that are meant to be there. Here is the completed barrel. After that, applying it onto the receiver is straightforward. Just stick on the post into the hole and it's there. For ammunition, there will typically be two magazines supplied for you, one that's inserted into the gun and one that is the full scale magazine which can be placed in your, your figure's hand, anything else such as chest rig, box, or a handbag. Now here I'm showing off the cutoff of the stock, where you can see if I cut it nice and flush, I pretty much have ruined the piece and I would have to try cement glue it back to repair it, so that way it would actually fit onto the gun properly. Just always be careful where you snip and read the F in manual. And we're done with the initial assembly. Just save any pieces you don't use back into the box and give your girls their guns. Hope you enjoyed this small build video, I'm really hoping to do more because they're a lot of fun to me. Gonna try to include a few close up shots of the AS Val, but hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I hope to catch y'all around either in the streams or in a future video. Have a good one.